Oh, I've just got back in the car after 18 holes of open qualifying. Here's how it went. Welcome down to Hesketh Golf Club. It is a beautiful but very windy day. 7.35 a.m. tea time. Expectations are low but remaining very hopeful for a good performance. Target score is gonna be one under par. I think that will be enough to see me through to final open qualifying. We didn't record the tee shot. There's a lot of people around. It was all very difficult. So I try to kind of air down the side of caution, just like my playing partners. We kind of hit it down the, the 18th fairway and just left in a short little wedge. So from 125 yards, slightly into the wind, I've got a pitching wedge, lovely strike. The thing never left the flag, it was like an arrow. I really was thinking it was gonna be close. But as we get up to the green, it's on the front edge, it's probably about 30 footer for a birdie. First putt of the day on the first green, not fantastic, leaving it around about four feet short and tidying up quite nice. That seemed to be a bit of a theme of the day, but the short stick has been serving me well so far. Second hole, eight iron, just a punchy one because it's only about 140 yards to the green, but the wind again was kind of hurting off the right-hand side. This ball never left the flag in the air and it finished on the far left. It's amazing how much the wind actually hit the ball on the way down. Again, birdie put from pin high around about 30 to 40 oh, feet it. across the green. Again, though, leaving it around four to five feet short. Really disappointing first put there on the second green. Thankfully, the par put drops in. A little bit of left to right downhill. Never, never the easiest put in the world. Next hole up, we've got a shortish par four. First opportunity to see how the driver's going to perform. Loving the feel of the driver at the moment. I can feel like I can hit it hard and it's always just going to fade back a little bit. So I try to keep that under control. Second shot in from around about 120. Just trying to punch a little pitching wedge in there, but I actually caught it quite thin. So it's landed around about pin high, maybe just past pin high. You can see how it's reacting there and my reaction as well. It took a big bounce and just kind of popped itself onto the back fringe. Not trying to leave the putt short like I did on the opening two holes. You're gonna see this putt just wander past and just keep on going. I had about six to seven feet coming back for my par. Read it as pretty straight, maybe started a little bit left off the face and never came back. So that leads me to the first drop shot of the day, which is absolutely disappointing. One over par through three holes. Par three, fourth hole, I've opted with a six iron. Again, just a little punchy one. It's probably around about seven iron distance. Wind kind of hurting again off the right-hand side. Wind, you see the flag there, so the wind's just kind of pushing the ball towards the kind of last third of its flight. So just missed the green, but down, big downhill into the flag. So just send it on its way with the putter. And perfect line, I think. Just go, needed go. a little bit more than it would have dropped. But thankfully and finally, it is a stress-free park, so I hadn't had one of those so far. Fifth hole, definitely the wrong club off the tee. I've got a two iron. The playing partners actually hit five and six irons because of the water down the left-hand side. I was a little bit more bold and kind of managed to end up level with the water and only leave myself 120 yards. Now, this is a shocker. Didn't trust the yardage, didn't trust the club, didn't trust the wind, fully bailed out. As you can see, I've missed it a long way short and a long way right. Didn't catch this chip very nicely at all. Caught it a little bit fat. So when it actually landed, it just released and it released down the slope and off the green again. Back downwind with the putt, but massively uphill from the fringe as well. Horrendously wow. left this around about four feet short. Horrible putt really for a bogey and we've now just dropped two shots from what is a very simple position in the in the fairway to now being three over par through five holes. Just as I set up now for the hardest hole in the golf course at 460 yards into wind par four, I managed to find the bunker off the tee. 
hard lob wedge. I'm pretty sure the ball actually came backwards at some point during its flight and it's not really progressed me very far. Lovely strike, but it's just not the ideal scenario. Third shot on a par four with a four iron is never a good sign. Fantastically executed, but in hindsight, it's definitely a five iron. The ball's landed just past pin high, and because of the way the flight is, it's just released and rolled all the way up the green to the very back edge. And I've got a long, must be, I'm gonna guess at 60 feet or so for a par, which is never really the par length put you want to have, especially having just made a double bogey already being three over par. Knocking this five foot past wasn't acceptable either, but thankfully managed to put a decent stroke on it, trust the line, and in she goes for bogey. So four over through six, and I've got to be honest with you, I started to worry about the online backlash at this point. I was starting to get even more nervous than when I started. Four over through six, all you can think about there is probably shooting about 97 and just taking a load of abuse. But stepped up, beautiful drive, got a chance of getting there with a two iron, water short of the green, so a little bit of a bailout, plus the wind was off the right as well, and I've left it around about pin high left of the green. Flag is on its own little plateau, so I've tried to be aggressive, always already being four sit, over, sit, sit, and sit, it sit. just trickled out a little bit too far, but thankfully hung on to the back edge. Lovely putt coming back. I really fancied this one, just outside the right edge, slightly uphill, not much in this at all. It would be great to get myself back on oh, wow. track with this putt, but it's literally left it in the jaws, lit about six inches short of the hole. So pass to steady the ship. Onto the next one, very short par four. So just a little four iron off the tee. Again, the guys I played actually hit six irons off the tee. So this is my lack of knowledge on the golf course really. I hadn't played it for around about 10 years, but I hit it quite poorly off the tee. So I got lucky and a really, really nice 50 degree, but it actually landed on the fringe, which generally gives you that big bounce as so. Had it landed on the green, it would have just caught up a little bit with a bit of spin, but trickled over the back. Not the ideal third shot. A bit scrappy at this point now, isn't it really? leaving it around about four feet from my par and again once again I'm, I was kind of really happy in hindsight with the way I cleaned up the putts so just managed to pop that into the side door from another four, from another four footer to save the par. Driver was working fantastically well just kind of hitting it hard off that left hand side just knowing that it's always going to fade back for me so really confident with the big stick. Off a bare lie from the middle of the fairway just trying to really make sure I get the right ball striking, so just pop down and hit down on the ball as much as I could. But I think because of that, managed to probably over hit it, and it's now gone over the back of the green. A very dangerous pin position, flag at the back, and the worst place you can miss this is long as well. But thankfully, it was a really nice recovery chip shot back into the wind, and a little probably two and a half, three footer for a par. So we get to the turn in four over, not really how I want it to be, but still remaining positive. Hopeful that elusive birdie is gonna come very, very soon. Very short par four, 10th hole, dog leg to the right hand side, got aggressive with it. It suits my shape at the moment, so just hit it hard down the left, let it fade back, middle of the fairway, 70 yards straight into the teeth of the wind, went down to a pitching wedge and managed to hit a really, really nice shot. And a shot it's a shot that I don't often play. I'm not comfortable playing it, but I tried to really take myself out of my comfort zone with some of the shot selections and kind of hit the right type of shot for the conditions we were playing in. Birdie putt coming back down the hill from right to left and in she goes for the first one of the day and back to three over. I started to think quite positively at this stage and a couple of holes coming up where I knew there was three par fives left. So a chance to kind of get myself back to level par if I could steady the ship within, within the rest of the holes. Nice little eight iron into the green there. Probably the wrong club, really. The other playing partners hit a nine iron. I just wanted to hit a soft eight and probably just hit it a bit too hard. The down slope of this really oh. scared me, actually, wow. hitting down for my birdie and managed to leave it four to five feet short, believe it or not, which was a massive surprise and a huge worry. But once again, managed to convert the par. Stressful at this stage, but the short stick seems to be working pretty well. Hugely downwind par five, par four here, so I can get really close to the green. It's about 430 yard par four, 
but it actually only left us in with about 65 70 yards so a massive drive feeling this fancying it my playing partner just went literally from the same spot before me with a little joke about trying to get the closest but as ever you know me with the wedges folks landed it long downwind first bounce firm and it released out to probably oh. 30 to 40 feet away so as you can see it so far although my golf's been okay my proximity to the hole has not been fantastic and it's been a bit it's not been a clean performance it's probably the best way i can describe it playing okay hitting the ball well but just not getting close enough and that's what the wind can do to you birdie put down the hill left to right and just continues to go just going it's still going still going and not the par put we envisioned when we had a 65 70 yard approach shot into the green thankfully though another solid stroke back up the hill right to left and in she goes for a par but again it's not a stress-free par it gives giving me a lot to think about next hole's a par five but you can't really hit driver because of the dog leg so tried to rip or did rip a two iron down the middle of the fairway probably could have got away with a three wood to be a little bit further up there but at the end of the day it's, it was perfectly safe Three wood off the ground, if you watch my golf tips, it's, it's one of the hardest shots in golf. And you just kind of see me here, just taking a few extra practice swings. We have to wait for the green. I've got about 275 to the front edge of the green, so I can get there. Not, I needed the absolute perfect strike, but I could definitely get there with a bit of draw. So I just tried to get myself as comfortable with this as possible. A couple of nice practice swings, visualize the shot as best I possibly could. Wind's kind of helping me off the right hand side, and I absolutely ripped it hit it really nicely probably just cut a little bit into the wind which kind of stalled it up a touch and probably left me around about 25 30 yards short of the green which is fine straightforward pitch into this green and you kind of really fancy yourself to get up and down but Sit. i just over here and that's the Box golf ball there of my playing partner who was literally there. next to me so he won that challenge there of nearest the pin it's the <sighs> second one i've lost in successive holes which is also frustrating Birdie putt coming back off the fringe again. So you see a lot of my putts today have come from the fringe, which makes it a little bit more difficult in terms of cleaning the ball, lining the writing up, kind of getting comfortable with your pre-shot routine for those birdie putts. So something in hindsight, if I could have just kept the ball on the greens for the birdie putts, would have made a huge difference. So three over through 13 holes and probably the worst shot I'd hit all day. Really low necky two iron off the tee which in this particular hole was a disaster because I really I probably should have hit a three wood again off the tee oh. to get a bit further up there and it's left me now a good kind of 180 yards into wind with the wind kind of off the right as well so I've got a four iron I'm just kind of envisaging that really nice kind of punchy powerful strike but I just didn't trust it and when I don't trust it the lower body slows down the hands flip over I catch it a little bit heavy and I hooked it straight through the air. We've not seen it land. Fuck. So as you should always do in a tournament, so a provisional, just in case. after a little bit of, wow, talk about not committing to your shot. Angry self-reflection, hit a provisional. Got to go back through that routine again. Try and get the last oh, shot out of that? your mind. really important to kind of trust your initial shot selection stuck with it and honestly guys this ball finished 12 to 15 feet away from the flag it's just like oh, why can't you just do that first time because that would have set up a birdie however instead after probably two minutes of looking for the golf ball we are here in the cabbage that ball is not only in the ridiculously thick stuff it is about a foot below my feet I'm trying to get, I'm actually trying to land this no ball right of target, right of the flag, because it kind of bounces down off the, the side of the mound, which is a bit more fairway. So I'm actually, I've got the blade wide open, trying to give it a little bit of height. It wasn't, weirdly enough, it wasn't a horrific lie, but it's bad enough. And just as I'm trying to kind of wide open face, try and get, try and commit to being a little bit cuter with it, because I do still want to get up and down. I'm still chasing the score. Club face sit, just kind sit, of rotates sit. in the hands. Well, frustrating, frustrating hole. Well, well. Really, to be fair, two very poor shots, and that's not going to be good enough in these sort of on these sort of golf courses in these conditions. 
really long par putt again let's be fair go, that's go, not go, what go. you want so. nicely rolled it stone dead though which is which was a rarity in today's round actually only just about caught the, the edge as well that was a pretty poor second putt next hole is a very short one i actually didn't know where i was going here i just kind of followed my playing partners i just copied what they'd hit off the tee and one of them hit it straight in on that line and someone said good shot so i basically just followed him um probably not the best way you should be playing golf but left me in the middle of the fairway from 135 yards which is a perfect little wedge hit it nice and firm probably slightly into wind blind second shot because the flag was cut on the very very far right side of the green so not the easiest approach shot to be playing but it's finished around about pin high just a just across from the from the flag so around about 40 feet down the hill left to right and once again just didn't commit to the length of putt and left it painfully short and i remember thinking to myself over this putt don't be short you're four over with four to play like you're not defending anything and still left it short so really difficult to kind of get gauge the right distances amazing little par three this really nice kept checking the yardage really struggled with club selection it was about 200 yards to the flag but straight into the wind guy before me hit four iron over the back so i've kind of gone with the five iron and i've pured it i've absolutely pured it but it's one of those where i've just tried to hit it really hard when you're hitting the ball really hard into wind as i also know because i coach it the ball spins up and goes higher and there you can see left me 20 yards short of the green tried to float one in back into the wind for a fast landing fast stop and yeah look at that oh, fuck's sake. from here then you're always battling it's never gonna it's never realistically gonna drop in from for a par from that range and morale's pretty low at this point on this hole i think it's a very scrappy bogey really all came from poor club selection as you can see again a health cat another decent put there for the bogey as well par five finished uh 17 18 is also a par five on the card but i just found out at this stage they've moved it to a par four which was heartbreaking to be honest but this was actually the best drive of the day hit it around about 340 yards down there flag is cut behind the trees nine iron straight over the top of the trees and yeah just feeling really good about those first two shots of the hole and hoping it's on the green just short though and just kind of the wind's kind of pushed it round to the right a little bit more so i've got a longish put for eagle and i'll tell you folks this is in all of the way go on go on go but it stops about a foot and a half short leaving the easy birdie to tap in to go back to four over but i think we all know at this stage now it's gone unless i even hold my second shot for eagle i'm still only shooting two over lovely tee shot just nice fade off that left hand side finishing just right side of the mid of the fairway so beautiful tee shot lovely oh, another one again got me down there nicely this is a four iron second shot and again i've not committed to it hooked it left lost it in the air had no idea where it had gone i never see it come down is it oh this is a provisional then oh bloody hell i just lost it in the air then Provisional ball, as Easy usual, is an absolute it. beauty. Arrow straight into the heart of the green. Where else would it go? Idiot. And that is the frustration of this game, isn't it, folks? Really annoying. Didn't trust no. the first shot. It turned out that it was the correct shot to have played. And now I am in the sand. It's actually a semi-plugged lie, which was brutal. Managed to play it really well, in fairness. Landed it just on the front edge of the green from where I was coming from. But it was always going to be releasing away from me. And once again, we've got an extremely long par putt, which was tracking all the way. Go, 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 And go, go. Oh. as I think the theme goes of the day, left it around about an inch or so short of the hole. 
the inch of the sh inch sh short of the hole is not the theme of the day. The fact that I left it short was the theme of the day. So a five over par 76, tie 27th out of 128. Lots of positives and lots of negatives. Guys, comment below, what do you think of that round? It's It was kind of a weird one. I'm still trying to reflect on it, but really what the best way I can describe it just wasn't a very clean round. I've calculated that I've had nine par saves from between three to six foot, which is a lot of par saves from a long distance away. Now, not to say that I'd missed so many greens in regulation, but the first putts were actually really poor on the day. But at the same time, my approach shots, my distance control just wasn't there. But also, again, the weather was tricky. The wind was howling. And it, that makes it really difficult to kind of get the right distances. And when you do, then one, they're the ones you want to be trying to take advantage of. But I don't really feel like I had that much to take advantage of. In hindsight, the double was a shocker down the fourth. Put the three put on three wasn't fantastic either, let's be fair. So those three, I think, were very avoidable. And that would have got me to two over, which would have got me into a playoff for, for a reserve spot. But outside of that, I can't really pinpoint that many opportunities where I think I've missed, I should have birdied that, I should have birdied that. There's a couple of outside chances where you wanted to get up and down on a par five, but they're not, they're not the definites you really reflect on, especially when it's links golf and into, into wind or downwind. It's, it's very tricky. So that's my assessment of it. It was, a, it was a good day, lovely experience, really enjoyed it. Definitely going to go again next year. I'm going, to go, I'm going to go every single year for it. There's no reason why you wouldn't because actually I want to play, even if you're just playing final qualifying, you've got the likes of, you've got the, likes of the big boys playing in there as well, the ones that don't get into the, the, the open automatically. They go to final open qualifying. So the fields in those events are already fantastic anyway. So why you wouldn't even want to be in that field is beyond me. So I'm going to be doing this every single year. But what I might try and do before next year is actually practice because I didn't do a zero zip, no practice whatsoever. My practice has been my breaking par series, which I've been playing pretty well and kind of did all right there as well. Golf course setup, obviously on in this day compared to a member's golf course is completely different. Like it's longer, the rough stick of the greens are faster. It's a different golf course. So I've been playing well, but I haven't really been practicing. Haven't played any competitive golf whatsoever. If you've enjoyed this style of video, do let me know because I might start playing some more competitive golf, but it does stress me out. It does frustrate me. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Loads of content coming to the channel now. We've got a brand new Sunday Scramble series starting this week. I've filmed about five weeks worth already. The guests are awesome. We've got the likes of James Robinson, Gaz Beadle, Mia Baker, Seb on Golf, the list will go on because I've got some really good ones lined up as well. In the sporting world, professional footballers, it's going to be class. That's the Sunday Scramble every single Sunday. So do stay tuned to the channel to see that. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it.